Welcome back to the Hall of Fame, y'all. Um, we're going to be talking about a, a whole lot, guys. Um, but we got to stay on the wrestling here for a second. Uh, we're going to be talking about Khabib, Justin Gagey. It's official, guys, going down in October. Can't wait for that. Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., epic confrontation um getting ready to happen we got we got to talk about that man but w one thing that I'm, I'm a little sad i'm a little sad uh in wwe um Kyrie sane man she she um she um she's off man she she left the wwe and she's no longer a part of the company and back to japan what do you think about Kyrie sane man because man she i tell you she is the re my, my, my son um nine-year-old kendrick um I took him to an NXT show here in Houston downtown. Um, I don't know, maybe three years ago, and that was his. It was the first time he had ever gone to a wrestling show with me, um, just him and I, outside of WrestleMania or anything like that. And um, I tell you, man, when Kyrie Sane came out, the insane pirate with that pirate's wheel, uh, yeah, man, I tell you, Kendrick went nuts he was so over the top because not only did she look cool with the she had on all white that night and i was like man she looked like you know like a little little queen or something and uh and my son was like wow she looks good and then um she got in the ring and she started working and my son was really going crazy and then she did that elbow off the top rope and uh i mean he became an instant fan and Kyrie came back um in the locker room and, and he met her and I swear, man, ever since that day, he's been, like, hooked on professional wrestling. I mean, right now, he knows every wrestler, every wrestler's name, every wrestling move. He's one of – he commentates on a regular basis, even when yeah. – um, and to see her leave, man, I, I think it's a it's – a, it's, it's a huge loss uh, just because I really think Kyrie Sane could have been a – just as big a star or even bigger than Asuka uh, represent Japan. So it, it's a huge loss, I think, um, as far as um, WWE goes. Yeah, no, I, I agree wholeheartedly. I, I know she wanted to go back to Japan. I think that she was either recently married or maybe her husband lives over there, so she wants to go back, something to that effect. I don't know the exact reasoning, but <clears throat> I think I, – I, you know how you always talk about Samoa Joe? Have you heard the name before you saw the guy? Yeah. That was for me, Kyrie Sane. I kept hearing this Kyrie Sane. Oh, wait till you see her elbow drop. Wait till you see her elbow drop. And I think that she was maybe in the May Young Classic, and that's when a lot of people first saw her. And then I remember tuning into. Um, no, I didn't even tune into NXT. We went to NXT War Games at the Toyota Center, similar to to Kendrick seeing her in Houston. We'll come her, see her out with the the Pirates wheel, and then the elbow drop just just sells you. The elbow drop sells you on everything. Maybe the only one I've ever seen to rival the Macho Man, and um, she. To me, when she made her main roster debut and they put her and Asuka and Paige together, I was like, wow, that's a money-making operation right there. The Kabuki Warriors, Paige is a great mouthpiece. They're going to be the women's tag team champions. They ended up doing that, and I could see her and Asuka headlining WrestleMania against one another for the women's championship, and 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 I could I would buy into it wholeheartedly. I thought that that's how good that she was and how good Asuka is, and I love the pair of them together. Her, her walking away, everyone has their reasonings, right? But um, I think that she's won. She's not leaving on bad terms. You know, there, there's no bad blood there, at least that we know. She she put out a really awesome statement on Twitter thanking everybody um, backstage, the locker room, the fans. So I think that she might be one that we could see her in sporadic appearances from here on out. I don't think that she's going to walk away from the game altogether and – WWE, I think, is going to be the home going forward. So I hope we see Kyrie Sane back in WWE, maybe at the Royal Rumble. I could see it happening. Um, I see um, uh, one of the um, comments that just came in from Viking Tees. I just want to put this out there. It's, it's a really good thought, man. I, I wish I would have came up with the idea Oscar versus Kyrie. Um, loser leave town, retire. That would have been, been great. Um, that would have been some really, really good booking right there for me to see, you know, that you know, those two at odds. Um, and the, and the reason is whatever. And the loser leaves the WWE and go home back to Japan. Oh man, that, that, that's a great, that's actually a great, great storyline there, kid. I might have to hire you over at reality and wrestling <laughs> to do some stuff for me, but.